it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect Plant-Based Weight Loss. And today is Wednesday, and that makes it way in Wednesday. And that's the day that I come on here and I make a video and I weigh in about what's going on in my life and I weigh in about what's going on on the scale. And that's kind of the big news this week is that I got to 299. The scale hit 299. And actually, the scale hit 299 last week and then immediately bounced back up. <laughs> So that's what happened. I got to 299. I was like, yay, for a minute. And then the next day it was 300. And then the next day after that, it was like 301. And normally I don't weigh in adjacent days like that, but I just wanted to kind of make sure that it stuck. And so maybe that was my punishment for weighing in adjacent days. I'm just teasing. I don't think it's bad to weigh in adjacent days if that works for you. I think you should weigh in as often as works for you. I think if you're doing it more than once a day, you're not getting useful information because you're just watching your fluids, your fluid levels and maybe your food levels and your gut go up and down, which what does that even tell you? It doesn't tell you if you're eating healthfully or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I, so this week 299 stuck. And I'm still, I am at 2.99. Um, and I just wanted to say yay. I want to mark this milestone and say yay. And I also had some feelings about, like, maybe I shouldn't celebrate 2.99. Like, is that anything I should celebrate, right? Like, that's that's not a good amount for me to weigh. And so, but I am going to celebrate it. And the reason, you know, the reason I think about that is when I first got over 300, it was pretty devastating to me. Like, I mean, the first time around, like in my early 40s, it's pretty devastating. And, oh, I know exactly when it was. It was when I was pregnant with my son. I got, I got to 301. And so, gosh, I was 25. So that was a long time ago. And it was devastating. I went home and cried and cried and cried and cried. And I was feeling like I'm pregnant, so I shouldn't probably try to lose weight right now. But after I had him, I did definitely, you know, go back down. Got below 300. And I think I got down to about 240 that time. So I got well below 300. Um, and then I honestly, I could not believe it that I got back up here, you know, because those of you who know my story know I got all the weight off for like a minute. <laughs> I took off 300 pounds, over 300 pounds. And I don't know, they went on vacation or something. I'm not sure. But they came back, not all of them. Some of them are still in Barbados or everywhere or on the Hawaiian Islands. I'm not sure, but they went somewhere and they came back. And it just happened so gradually that um, I never got that like shock effect, you know, where you were like, oh no, that number, you know, the sticker shock of gosh, I'm over 300 again. It was just got on the scale one day and I was like, yep. And one of the things that happens to me when I'm not doing well is I don't want to get on the scale. Um, I, I just avoid it. I, it's like, I know you don't have anything nice to say, so I don't want to hear from you. Um, and so I didn't realize it was happening. I kind of did. I knew that my behavior was such that it was it was around the time that I was planning a wedding, um, not my own wedding, someone else's wedding. And I was just really busy and I wasn't paying attention and I wasn't eating healthfully and I wasn't cooking well. And um, so anyway, yeah, it's, 
it's bittersweet to get back here again. I'm really happy, don't get me wrong. I'm super happy to be going the correct direction. I never have to say that I weigh 300 and something anymore. I'm really thrilled about that, but it is, it is that feeling like, I don't even know if I should be happy about this because it's still such a huge number and I still have such a long way to go. And that's just where I am, right? Like thoughts and feeling, like thoughts you can control, feelings sometimes, uh, yeah, you can control feelings too, but that's just, that's the thoughts that are coming up. So I'm processing those thoughts. So what I wanted to talk about today was feeling like you're out of control, like a runaway train. For a while there, that's what I felt like. I felt like I was out of control and I couldn't figure out where the brake was. You know, like it's a car rolling down a hill and the brakes are out. Um, and I knew I was, you know, doing something that I didn't want to be doing, but I felt like I couldn't stop. And so I wanted to talk to you about what helped me stop. And that was a certain thought. So thoughts can be really powerful. Sometimes people will call it a, a, like a mantra or something that you say to yourself. Um, but when you have a thought that brings you back to your authentic self, like snaps you out of whatever you're going through, I think of that as your break and it's the thing that you can apply. Um, and so different things have been my break at different times, right? Um, sometimes it's been, you know, no matter what, I'm not doing this no matter what. And so then I'm about to do something that I don't want to do. And I'm like, no, no matter what, like we don't make exceptions. You're unexceptional. <laughs> you don't make exceptions anymore because there will always be an exception. There will always be a birthday, a holiday, a Mother's Day, a free buffet, you know, free meal from your work, a special treat. Someone wants to take you out. You know, there'll always be a reason that you should make an exception, especially if you have an addict's mind. There's always going to be something. And so you have to decide ahead of time that that's not going to be the case, that you're not going to make an exception. And then when the time comes and you want to do the thing and you want to make the exception, then I would say no matter what. And it would, it would bring me back to like, oh yeah, I made that promise to myself. Not unless I get something really yummy unless I get this thing for free, for some reason, like free sweets or free desserts or free things have a stronger impact on me because they have, they hit double dopamine because they hit like the sweets and also the free. <laughs> and I like a good bargain. So, you know, everybody's going to have a different break. Everybody's going to have a different power thought that helps them to be strong. And I wanted to show you something that I found recently that has kind of reinforced that for me. Um, and I have been um, having fun with these and I've been using different ones depending on what I'm feeling like I need. So what these are, are they just simple little bracelets that are called Zox, Z-O-X. Their website is zox.la. And I'm not an affiliate. I'm not getting any money for this. I just think they're cool. And I wanted to tell you about them. Um, and it kind of went along with what I'm talking about. And so all Zox are is like collectible bracelets that have cool pictures and stuff on them. Um, so here's one. And then on the ends, so they just, they have this art and they're done by artists. So they support artists. And then on the inside, they have a saying. So like this one says, you're not alone. You're not alone. And so I like that one. And then this one says, this one has this cool art on the outside. And it says, you are enough. 
I know these are going to be backwards on screen. Sorry about that. But this one says you are enough. You just have to trust me. And you can choose if you want to wear them with the thought on the inside or on the outside. This one says, this one I really liked just the picture on it, the, the, the print. I thought it was really pretty. And this one says, today I will not worry. Isn't that a great reminder? Today I will not worry. Um, if you have anxiety or just stuff that's weighing on your mind and you want to remember that you've already given it to God or you've already, you know, you've already made a decision about that and you've decided to be at peace with the, what your decision is, then this can help you when you start to have that thought again, you can have a physical reminder of what you want to think instead, right? And then finally, this one has arrows on it um, and it says, never give up. And I've been wearing this one a lot. Never give up. And honestly, I ordered a whole bunch of more ones. <laughs> and um, I hope you'll check out the website if these resonate, if this thought resonates with you at all of having like a physical manifestation of a decision that you've made, right? Something to help you remember. Because what happens is when we're in that um, moment of temptation, your subconscious mind is so much stronger than your conscious mind. It just is. It's like got 200,000 times the processing power of your conscious mind. And so your poor little prefrontal cortex is this little area in the very front of your brain. And you've got the whole rest of your brain like working against you. you got your survival instinct. Um, we were not created to be in a time of constant abundance. We were made to survive famine. And so you have a very strong drive in the back of your, in your brain to say when there is rich food in the environment, eat the food. Like it, your survival could depend on it because you're going to have to get through famine. And if you're a woman, it's going to be more important because you might get pregnant and you might need to bring another life in the world and you need reserves, right? So that's what, that's just how brains are wired. Um, so when you're trying to make healthy changes in your life, you're working against that. It's a really hard thing to work against. And that is why sometimes you can have success and it can be temporary. And anything that you can do that helps you get a little head start, a little leg up on the competition of your own brain, of your own survival instinct, is going to be helpful. It has been helpful for me. Things like writing down my food the night before, um, planning out my meals, not letting things catch me by surprise, and then making up my mind ahead of time that this is what I'm doing have all been really helpful. And if it helps you to have like a physical manifestation, these are really inexpensive. I think they're like $10 or something. Not very expensive. The other thing I like about these, I honestly, I just think they're cool. <laughs> I really like this one. I'm really partial to this pattern on this one, but um, they are, like I said, they're designed by artists. They're limited run. So if you like it, you have to get you have to get it while it's being made, right? Because they're collectible. And they're made out of recycled plastic. So they're helping close the loop and recycle plastic and get it out of the environment, which I really love that. Comes in different sizes for different sizes of wrist. I, um, I get the medium size and it fits me really well. They also have rings if, uh, you know, if you don't want a bracelet. Maybe you just want a ring to have something be really subtle. Um, I actually ordered a ring that was resonating with me um, after I got a mean comment from someone. Um, I got, be strong, prove them wrong. It's two different rings. One of them says, be strong. And one of them says, prove them wrong. And then I thought about, it wasn't even that person that left the comment. It was really like, when I have those thoughts that I can't do this, prove those thoughts wrong with your actions. Prove them wrong. So anyway, 
just wanted to tell you about them. Sorry for the commercial for that, but it's something that has been really um, fun for me, and I hope you'll check out their website. I'll list it in the um, in the description because they also, with every order, they make a donation to a charity that provides clean water for people and they say with every order you're providing clean water for someone for a year so I love it it recycles plastic it helps me remember my positive thoughts it has cool you know um, art I love supporting artists and I love that it's doing something good for other people um, so just thought that was a neat company that you might want to know about and I hope that you are having a wonderful week. Thank you for being with me through this time of trying to get through the 300s. Thank you in advance for being with me through the 200s. And hopefully, you know, they'll uh, just, we're going down. We're going down for real. <laughs> That's another that's another thought, you know, songs can do that for you too. So I want this to be the beginning of the, the middle phase and then, the, and then we'll be together through the home stretch. And I love you so much. Thank you so much for being with me on this journey. And I will talk to you soon.